Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in for another video. My name is Sara. So today I have for all of you this fall inspired makeup look. I love fall and I love uh, the colors uh, that the fall season has. So a lot of maroons and oranges and browns. So that's what I've brought for you here. And I hope you like this video. It's a very simple video. Uh, it's very, very easy to recreate and I hope you like it. So let's get quickly started. So I'm going to start off with putting my hair up so it's out of our way. And then we can get started. So I'm going to start off today with using a face mask because it's getting colder here and I want to hydrate my skin. So I'm using the aloe vera um, face mask today. So I'm just going to remove it from the packaging. I really love these masks that are wow this it's you can see it's dripping it's so hydrating and it's such a quick way to hydrate your skin um, uh, if you find it like you know a little dry just put on a, a face mask and it just does the thing for you so let me just remove it so I'm gonna begin looking a little scary now <laughs> so I'm just gonna completely cover my face with this Leave this on for like 10 minutes and then we can take it off and move on with the other steps. And just uh, whatever is left over, just bring it down to your neck and let it just stay. I just removed the mask and I'm just going to pat uh, all the, the remaining uh, gel. I'm just going to pat it inside so it uh, gets absorbed into the skin well. Okay, so next, moving on. I'm going to be using a moisturizer because the moisturizer is very important before you start your makeup. Uh, this is what uh, will make your base stay well and also keep your skin hydrated. It's very important to prep your skin. So I'm using uh, a moisturizer here. You can use anything of your choice. Just going to dot it down my face and neck. When you moisturize your face really well, uh, it actually helps the makeup glide on a lot easier. So after this, I'm going to move on to foundation. You can use any foundation of your choice. I'm using, I'm using a liquid base today and I'm just going to dot it all around my face. I'm using my beauty blender you can use uh, whatever suits you you can use a brush uh, if that's what you feel comfortable with I'm just using a sponge today foundation is done we're going to move on to concealer now so I'm just uh, going to conceal those areas that you find are a little dark maybe you find some dark spots you can conceal those so I usually go um, under my eye and around my lip so um, that's where I have some pigmentation so I just go around my uh, uh, and under my eye and then I'm using my uh, blender again to completely blend it just going to take uh, whatever is left on the sponge I'm just going to go above my eyelids as well that, that sort of acts like a base for your eyeshadow uh, it helps the eyeshadow stick on well so uh, just go over and also if you have some redness over your eyelids it conceals that as well make sure that you take your time and blend your foundation well uh, and your concealer because this is what gives that perfect base so do not rush take your own time and completely blend it to your skin we are done with our concealer I'm going to move on to powder now uh, you can use a press powder or a loose powder uh, to powder your face but I'm not just gonna I'm just gonna go only in those places where very little where I you know tend to maybe uh, look a little oily uh, so not not like just go over my face completely so just those places where we uh, conceal so 
once we're done with our powder we can now move on to the eyes you can use any eyeshadow uh, any any palette that you have so i'm just going to show you what i'm going to use today uh, it, you do not really need this exact palette to do you can use whatever you have and you can work with i'm just using um the covergirl uh true naked sunset palette today because i love the colors here it's got a lot of fall colors so i'm just using this today but you can just go over anything of your choice so uh firstly i'm starting off with the transition shade so for the transition shade i am using this shade here it's like a nice um burnt orange so i'm not going to go too much very lightly and i'm going to start off from here and then go inside so just concentrating it on the end and i'm taking whatever is on the brush inside and i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other eye so starting off with the end and going over make sure that you're blending it well so circular motions and we're done with our transition i'm moving on to um this shade here it's a very pretty pretty uh, purple shade i'm just picking up a little bit of that i'm just going a little below the transition shade so i'm just going to concentrate again on the end so the end uh, looks um so it has like a nice gradient effect so i'm just going to concentrate it over here and then go inside i'm looking into my mirror here because uh, it's a little difficult for me to just do the eye makeup and look into the camera so this is uh, a lot easier to this shade here it's uh um, sort of actually matches the color in my dress <laughs> it's a deep brown so sort of like a maroon shade you can say so i'm taking that and i'm in placing it right over here just concentrating it there then blending it further in. add a little bit of glitter in the center of the eye so it has a nice pop of color so for that i'm i'm using this one it's um a deep uh, this is also a purple shade wow this is so pretty this is also a nice purple shade but uh, more of more towards the maroon side so it's got a little bit of glitter in it so it's nice if you uh, apply that at the center of your eye so i'm just going to dab it in like that the center of my eyelid I'm using my uh, ring finger to do this and then i'm just using the finger itself to just slowly uh, blend it over the previous eyeshadows that we had at the end i'm using a clean uh, blending brush to blend all the colors in so there are no harsh lines outside just completely diffuse the color you're going to mean use all those uh, uh shades at the bottom as well so it has a complete so the eye look looks complete so i'm using this firstly and going at the bottom so starting here and then moving on to the next purple shade and then doing the same moving into the waterline so for that i'm using a black coal pencil and then i'm starting here the corners um i'm going to be adding this pop of gold here on the inner corners I'm going to use a liquid liner and um, for this I'm using this one from uh, Covergirl. This is in the number 320. I'm going to just uh, use this and line my I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. Oh, I'm using a spoolie first and brushing the eyebrows. and just uh, fill it in only those places where you find uh, it being a little scanty so for me it's usually uh, from the middle 
uh, towards the end so that's where I'm just going to uh, fill it up even if you've done everything else and you've not done your eyes your look looks very incomplete so never forget the eyebrows so I'm just using uh, an eyebrow pencil here and I'm going just literally like coloring it in I'm coloring in only the places where I find it being a little scanty so I just want um, a little bit of uh, darkness there so somewhere here and from the middle until the end I usually don't uh, do like really dramatic eyebrows to you know go very sharp uh, you can do that if you want but I just I always just leave it very natural and just fill the places where I need I'm gonna move on to bronzer I'm using a powder bronzer today I'm starting off over here just below my jawline sorry my cheekbone not my jawline <laughs> below my cheekbone or uh, you can use a cream contour as well but uh, I'm just using a powder today because I've already powdered my face and then I'm gonna go down my jawline as well next we are moving on to blush uh, I'm someone who just loves blushes uh, but I like that very natural uh, pinkish tone blushes like that look very nice especially on brown skin they suit brown skin better and uh, I'm just gonna go a little on my nose as well <laughs> so it, it looks natural highlighter as well I'm using a powder highlighter uh, you can use uh, a cream highlighter of course and I'm gonna hi highlight on the high points of my face so when you go out or when you take pictures they look very nice because that's where the light first hits you so uh, here then above your brow bone I mean your eyebrows then you, you're gonna apply your uh, highlighter uh, just above your blush I always actually go a little overboard <laughs> with my highlighter and then a little at the tip of your nose so to move on to lips I'm gonna first line it with um, this one this is uh, in the shade um, Aria Aria and this is from uh, NYX so it's a nice uh, like a very nice purple shade start off at the cupid's bow so here and then just make an X an X and then you're gonna line your lips so and also always uh, use a lip liner before a lipstick because one that makes your uh, lips a lot more defined and it looks nice uh, and secondly even if your lipstick wears off in time your lips your lip liner stays so that will still have that color Liner. I'm gonna use this uh, lipstick from elf it's such a beautiful shade mm, this is uh, what is what it's called sugar plum and uh, I love to use uh, you know colors like these for the fall so this is a, a like a beautiful purple shade and it's got a hint of a maroon in it too um, and I love shades like this deep wine uh, shades they look very nice for the fall and winter season so I'm just gonna use this now one makeup product that I cannot go without is the lipstick it's always something that I need uh, even if you do not you know have anything else on your face just do your eyebrows and a lipstick and that's it you will uh, you can look as fresh as possible <laughs> and so for me uh, a lipstick is a must and um, it's like my one of my favorite makeup products so I need a lipstick always that's the end of the look so finally 
we're gonna go in for some lashes uh, these are from kiss I love their lashes I actually love their um, nails the the stick on nails they are they last actually almost for a week so they're really good uh, I really love their uh, lashes as well they are super dramatic uh, and it's it's good for like you know like a like a good event or for a party especially for Christmas or New Year it's really nice it's not too over the top so this is called whale and this is what I'm gonna try on today so I'm just gonna remove it out and then uh, usually eyelashes are already kept in the same sides um, as how you're gonna apply them so this is for your left eye and this one is for your right eye if I'm not wrong yeah and this one is for your left eye and this one is for the right so you do not you don't need to get confused so just gonna remove it out like this and it just comes off and then I'm gonna use um, a lash glue and today I'm using uh, this one from kiss as well uh, I love their um, lash glue because it's uh, it's really good and just a little bit is enough it stays for so long um, so I'm just going to apply it on the band first so like that I'm just gonna apply it make sure that you apply a little too much on the ends so you know your lashes don't come off I'm just gonna let this sit for just 30 seconds before you apply it so I just put on my uh, lashes off camera because it just get very difficult for me to you know put on the lashes and look into the camera I just it just very overwhelming for me so I'll probably make a separate tutorial on how I do it so uh, finally I'm just using mascara yeah <laughs> so I'm just going to go over both uh, make sure that you go over your uh, lashes your artificial lashes as well so I forgot I'm adding a little bit of highlighter on my brow bone it's one of my most favorite places it looks really pretty on photos yeah yeah Elijah is asking me questions uh, he just loves it when I bring out my makeup <laughs> so that's it guys this is the final look so hey guys this is the final look I hope you enjoyed this video it's a very simple look very beginner friendly and uh, with any products of your choice you can use anything that you have and I'm sure you can recreate this look and uh, I'm, I just love the fall season. I definitely wanted to make a fall inspired makeup tutorial for all of you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, kindly like, share and subscribe to my channel. And also share this video with your friends. Uh, and if you think they might like it. Uh, and also don't forget to hit that notification bell. So you're notified every time I upload a new video. Also, uh, make sure that you check out all my other makeup videos. I will link it up here in the i bar. And you can check all of them out. Uh, until next time, my friends. See you soon. Bye-bye.